What's up guys, Chris here, back again with another market video for you guys today. I just want to make a short video talking about where you guys can possibly make coins this week, talking about special cards, all that kind of stuff. We're going to be talking about an Icon SBC and what that market impact would have, and also we're going to be talking about FUB birthday cards in today's video. So before we get into it, if you guys can, just drop a like on the video and subscribe if you're new around here, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Now going into the video, I just want to quickly shout out my, my TikTok channel, which We've been consistently uploading on for the last week or so. I've not told you guys about it, but if anybody is strictly watching my YouTube content, has a TikTok account, go and follow me. That would be absolutely appreciated. If you guys don't have a TikTok, don't worry about it. But this is a nice little way for me to give you guys 30 to 45 second content clips, pack openings, good goals, uh, trading tips, investments, short little videos, stuff like that is what you're going to really see uh, from here. Especially if you're not involved with the live streams, you'll get a lot of the content on there. From, from the live stream so if you guys want to link will be in the description that'd be absolutely appreciated now let me talk firstly about the fun birthday cards right now and these guys were supplied a ton on sunday night and a big reason for that was because of mark oh, not marquee matchups because of squad battle awards and also some weekly sell off along with it now some of these guys have dropped off in my opinion a little too much where i think some of these guys may actually rise back up in the morning time now right now is when you really start to see the rise it's about 4 15 a.m when i'm making this video because we just got off stream a little while ago but i think some of these guys could rise back up a little bit in the morning guys like sterling guys like adama i believe sonny last week was one of those guys that you know kind of went up in price on that monday kent i think could happen as well just maybe look out for these guys and see how they fluctuate i do think if we don't get really and any content today any significant content I think these guys could probably push on further because there's not really going to be much really holding them down. It's just going to be something that people want to try these new cards out. So I think these guys could probably go up a little bit more today as long as we don't get anything huge. And I say that anything huge because I think there could be at some point this week an Icon SBC. Now there's two options they can go in my opinion. They can go a Prime Icon Repeatable or they can go a Moments Icon Pack or actually a third option they can go an Icon Player Pick which is what they did before. All three options would make fodder rise up in price. And as much as everybody has invested in these cards, I still think that there's going to be a nice little boom in fodder. And a lot of markets are really good to buy into right now. For example, 84s are down a good amount. 85s are down a good amount. 86s are coming, coming back down a bit as well. 87s are kind of chilling around 36. 88s are 48k. 89s are 63 like we saw with the Renato SPC that these 89s went to like 67k, right? If you guys see any of these at 60k again, I think this is an absolute no-brainer. They've shown that with a, a good SPC, these guys will go up again. I think it's a really good opportunity, not only to just club stock, but if you want to buy multiple of each card, I think you guys can. I think at some point, this is the longest time we've had for waiting for an Icon SPC to come out. So I think that we're going to be getting one pretty soon here. EA kind of rinsed a lot of clubs with fodder through the Renato SBC Vidal. We're getting Condobia tomorrow or today when you're watching this video. St. Juice Day could come out as soon uh, ASAP as well. So I think EA is doing a really good job of kind of draining people's clubs. And I think the fodder market could go up a little higher because less fodder in people's clubs, the more they're going to have to go buy for a potential Icon SBC. And I really do think it's possible that we do see it really soon here because like I said, it's the longest we've had since an Icon SPC had come out. Now, what kind of market impact would you have on that? You'd see a lot of selling. You'd see a lot of selling on Moments cards. You'd see a lot of selling on Prime cards. Any Icon version. You would see out-of-pack specials dropping a little bit because people would sell these cards off to then go and fund their SBCs. Uh, now, that's a little low right there. This guy was like, oh my. I mean, this guy is like 970 the other day. Now, he's at 885. But literally you would see a lot of cards dipping on the market you'd see a good amount of sell-off you'd see a big drop off in the market just because of a couple of reasons number one people would sell cards to go and do the spc and number two people wouldn't have enough coins to go buy those players back up because they have already wasted their coins on an untradeable spc card so buying power would drop and so would uh the people that just are doing all the spcs which is a big portion now, what I think you guys should really look at doing this week to make coins, regardless if we get an Icon SPC or not, take a look at fluctuations. If we don't get like an Icon SPC on Monday, 
the market's going to be free game for anybody to kind of look at. Now, I think bidding is an absolute must for you guys to look at this week in order to make coins. Uh, I actually just missed out on a no black card, and I'm kind of frustrated because here's two at two, uh, 146. He's got two at two, 150. I keep saying two for some reason. And then if you look at the supply to 155, he's got about six or seven here. That's not a lot of like, cards. I can easily see this going back to 155, as his graph also suggests. What happened was I was supposed to be I was supposed to be bidding on the video with you guys, and somebody got a really good bid on because I forgot. So when it comes to like special card trading, I really would be looking at bidding. All you guys need to do is take a look at what they are going for currently, knowing that this guy is currently 146 and trying to find a deal that can make you profit within this budget. Or you can go a little bit more complicated, and you can go with like, all right, he went from 150 to 156. Did he sell for a certain price? Let me go take a look at his market sales history. And you would just go and see like, has he been selling for 155? 155 right here, 155 right there. Pretty consistently 159, 155. Pretty consistently he's hitting 155, okay? That's that's the go-to price. So you would want to find like a 143. And that's going to make you about 4.5 to 5k a card by doing something like that. So please take a look at your fluctuations this week. Especially if we don't have an icon SBC, I expect there to be just a little bit of panic going into 6 p.m. every day until we get something like that. I think we're going to get it this week at some point, whether that be today, we'll see. But the market will get inflate, will get deflated because of it. Cards will drop in price uh, for various reasons, like I just explained. But trading this week, I think you guys really, really want to go and take a look at uh, just bidding on specials, fluctuation trading. I know a lot of you guys are just like, what kind of cards do I trade with? There's a full list in my Discord if you guys want to go take a look at that. It's about 100 plus special cards in there you guys can take a look at bidding. But you guys got to make sure you have Fuppin open with you, man. Because Fuppin allows you to look at the graphs. It allows you to look at what prices they're going for at the moment. It's a really easy way to trade. Now, another market that I'll be looking at this week, uh, and especially over the next like day or two, if we don't get really much content, I could see the Team League market going up a little bit more. And Davies actually literally was just like 69k. And I saw one actually on the market at 70. And now he's back up to 78k. And these guys like to fluctuate a lot. A couple of videos ago, I actually was able to flip a Davies from 93 to 103. These guys do really good fluctuation rise. If you look at a bombing, for example, I'm actually going to go take a look at this card because he sells 380 very, very consistently. This a bombing card is super rare. Look at this 380. 365 back to 380 down to 360 back to 380 like this is a card for me that i'm really always keep my eye out for because look 380 sale 379 375 right so i'm going to go onto the market and i'm going to go take a look at a bombing here because i want to see if i can find one maybe in like the 340s right somebody lists them, lists them up it's a late night you never know right so let me see 370 is there any 89 of bombings 360 369 Come on, give me one undercut here. Nothing. So, again, I'll just continue to monitor the card, but at least I made the effort to try and trade with a card like this. Um, and just going through each team of the week, right? These these team weeks will probably push up a little bit today if we don't get much content. Um, guys like Siyun Shoes, uh, Suchak, they're kind of like your fodder cards. You can club stack a Suchak at like 52k. That's a no risk, in my opinion, for an 87 inform. 85, you get him at 33. Can't really go wrong for a prime center back. I think these guys on the bench are really good investments. I think these guys, we've seen in the past, they've gone up to like 20 plus thousand coins. You got to take a look at these. These are literally, you can club stock them. You can buy five of each. Just be patient. You can see them rising up. These four is what I'd be looking at today, uh, tomorrow, any day, unless we get that SPC and then they started going up in price. But there's going to be a good opportunity to kind of flip these cards. I think long term, if you just hold them. This Kimmich, I'm also really interested in because like a bombing, He's somebody that is really rare. The team week has not had as much supply as people think. Um, and this guy I can really see going up this week. As long as we don't get some like crazy SBC, like an icon SBC, for example. I can expect the market to kind of be either stagnant or go up slightly a little bit uh, if we don't get any big content this week. But other than that, you know, you're just trading through fluctuations, you're trading through special cards. Um, you're looking at the team week cards. Road to the finals. Obviously, we're going to be taking a look at them probably in tomorrow's video. These guys, I probably would play it safe and take the coins before the games. 
in case obviously for example liverpool score first and real madrid's hazard card starts to really go down in price if you don't a lot of these matchups are tough to call right these roads to the final cards so i wouldn't play around with any of this stuff right hazard's like about 1.01 1 .01 or something like that yeah 101 right there i'd be very very careful with buying with any of these roads to the finals if you need to have them i would really take the coins of them before their games take the coins in the hype uh just in case they obviously lose their game they get scored on and then they drop down because of that so you don't want to have a situation with griezmann or players like that where they just absolutely get destroyed in value because of you know results not going their way so just pay attention to that this week in my opinion um this griezmann obviously is at like 205k 195 even actually which seems a bit low for this card like an 89 griezmann i know he's like a central version of the card this might be something i'm gonna actually go and take a look at uh and that looks like to me he might be a deal I, let me take a look at his graph and this is like a perfect example of me just you know, kind of going around the market and just kind of seeing certain trends right and i'm looking at this griezmann here uh no it looks like he's really rare right now look 199 he went from 202 down to 187 back up to 200 and now he went down to 185 again so 185 is gonna be my buy price for this because he's been going back up to about 199 which will be about 4k profit but again you can make little deals like that so be on the lookout for your fluctuations this week be on the lookout also within icon sbc like i said i think fodder would really go up i know a few of you guys have bought modric and you've bought sterling they've gone up a little bit here which is nice um, I would recommend for you guys because these guys are out of packs. Uh, if you want to play it safe, you could sell. Obviously, take the coins now. But if we get an icon SPC, these cards will rise higher than the other 88s or 87s in their like rating tier because these cards are out of packs. They have less supply. I would really recommend looking at Sancho, and I'm going to show you guys right now really quickly. Before with Sancho, this guy was out of packs during the What If promo. And this guy, chat, I'm not, I just called you guys chat, I'm so sorry. But this guy went to 75k at a point. Like, he legit hit 75k for an 87 card. Because he got into a solution, and he won up a ton because he was out of packs. So, be on the lookout for a lot of things like that this week. Uh, we're going to be bringing you a lot of market content. I've not been doing a lot of market recently. I'm going to get back into it. I need to make some coins myself. As I've literally just put all my coins in the player picks. I've got about 1.2 million left, but we're going to try to get to about 10 mil by Tots. Uh, here's the team that we used for this weekend. Really fun team, man. Um, and yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Double uploads coming. More TikTok videos. Go check that out, obviously, in the description. I'll tell you guys in the next video. All right, peace out.